of reading these same old nursery rhymes. I bet even Mother Goose is sick of them by now. Goo, goo, go! Max, if I gotta read this, you gotta listen. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great... Ah! Mouse, help! <sighs> it's only a stupid cat toy. <laughs> Max! Maybe brothers ought to come with warning labels. All right, you little squirt. I was going to read you Baba Ba Black Sheep, but now... Zoe, can I see you for a minute? Coming, Mom. Good. I finally got rid of her and those stupid baby stories. Now, Max, fairy tales are an important part of every child's development. Who wants to hear about a clumsy egg when we could be flying wings around Saturn? Let's map out our next space trip, guys. Now, you're sure you don't need a babysitter, Zoe? Mom, you're only going to be next door. You and Dad go and have fun at your canasta party. Ha! So now I can have fun. Amanda, Zoe, come on over. Let's party. Shouldn't we swing wide around the Big Dipper? Daddy Dippers, what was that? Whatever it is, it needs new brakes. Hiya, creeps. What's shaking? FX, it's your long-lost cousin. I wish he'd stayed lost longer. I was just cruising through the galaxy and decided to check out life in the slow lane. So aren't you gonna invite me in? Oh, don't do it. He'll wreck the place. We shouldn't be mean to one of your relatives, FX. Before you come in, wipe your feet. And get rid of that rocket. It's much too conspicuous. Sure thing, blockhead. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You won't regret this. I regret it already. Now, what can we do for a little fun? Ha-ha! Rock em and sock em! <laughs> this place is jumping now! Shame on you! That kitty only has nine lives! Mouse got your tongue? <laughs> Lay off my friend, cheese breath! Be careful, Max. You're not wearing a seatbelt. Before we have any more close squeaks, let's make XS cut that rodent back down to size. That was some mighty fine riding there, partner. Come on, XS. You heard him. Ah, oh, what a bunch of drip boys. So why don't you just rock it right back where you came from? Try and make me. You hit him, guys. Yeah, yeah, can't catch me. See you around, suckers. Rock em and suck em. He got away, that rotten little coward. Give him credit, A.B. That was a novel escape. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Max, aren't you asleep yet? Go, go. I'll read one more story, then that's it. Dirty diapers. Amanda's coming over, so I'm going to read Baba Black Sheep fast. Poor little Black Sheep, feeling so sad. <gasps> Hold it. That's not right. 
Poor little black sheep feeling so sad. No one wants his wool now. It's all frizzed and plaid. This nursery rhyme is all screwy. And who's that jerky looking green guy? All the rhymes are messed up. That must be Amanda. I'll just have to check this Goofy book out later. Dirty diapers! XS is loose in storybook land. You'll make a mess of everything. Not even Mother Goose will be able to handle his brand of mischief. We'll just have to go in after him. FX, make with some R and R. Rocket and roll! At least we had a soft landing. Keep for yourself, baby. Something's sticking me. Max, have you been fooling around with your diaper pins again? Look, if we can find a needle in a haystack, how hard could it be to find access? <laughs> Dirty diapers! Look what access did to the Bob Bob Black Sheep. How unfashionable. Oh, I'm ruined. I won't even get one bag full from this bunch. Come on, we'd better find excess before it can fleece anybody else. Look over there, A.B. It's the old woman who lives in a shoe. Uh, lucky thing we got here ahead of excess. Ah! I think you spoke too soon, Max. Whoa! Whoa! Down, boy! God, Charlotte! I should never have trusted that little green imp. He said he was making some home improvements. Gracious, look! That's the first time I've ever seen a vegetable bite back. I bet XS had something to do with this. <laughs> hey, there's the imp over there. Let's take him to Mother Goose. She knows what to do with troublemakers. Wait, you've got it all wrong. We're not the one you want. Honest. Fairy tales are much more fun when I tell them my way. Hmm, what do we have here? Go no further. Keep away. Yeah, this sounds like my kind of action. Rock em and stop em! The bee bobs get it, live out of the and there, but open the big battle, the little loop. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for the spring action, Jackson. Slap me some. Who are you? The Boogeyman, brother. Cause I like to... Boogie. That's why Mother Goose put me on ice. She says my rhythm messes up her rhymes. When the storybook folks follow my beat, they forget all about their stories. So I'm kind of the odd man out. Dig what I'm saying? Yeah, just like me. Say, maybe we can hang out together. I'll even give you a present. What do you say? Like, are you talking about some kind of gift, Biff? That's all right, Pete. My very own boogie bot. Come on, little dude. Let the bee man show you some moves. Get it, the love the bee button, button, zip, the bee, the button, who button, button, zip, it, boo bop. What a time, please. Mother Goose, my sheep have a died in the wool problem. My beanstalk chewed me out, Mother Goose. That little green trickster cooked my goose, too. I'm in worse shape than all of you. <gasps> Who is this meddling little elf? Be quick. Identify yourself. He's my pal, Effect, and he's innocent, Mother Goose. I'm a victim of circumstance. If I may, Mrs. Goose, Max is right. It's another little green fellow you want. He's been accused of nursery crimes, and we will try him at this time. But he can't get a fair trial here. This is nothing but a kangaroo court. 
I gotta get another job before I really crack up. <clears throat> These strange events we now must sort. I call for order in the court. For our first witness, we call the old woman who lives in a shoe. My shoe gave us the boat, and it's all his fault. Sure, it was a tight fit with all my youngins, but it's all we had. And now it's run off and <laughs> we have nowhere to live. Lady, I'm no heel. I didn't do it. Now I'm going to pieces. For our next witness, we call the Baba Black Sheep. <laughs> what in the name of Little Bo Peep has happened to the poor black sheep? Only their hairdresser knows for sure. Don't be sheepish. Show the court who did this to you. Oh, must you be so hard-boiled? He's that green fellow right over there. Objection, Your Honor. That silly shepherd is as much in the dark as the three blind mice. I'm afraid they don't see it that way, Max. I think the evidence is clear, but is there more that we should hear? What in the world of Mother Goose is shaking all my plaster loose? Wait, come back. Who had the notion to bring about this loud commotion? The Foogie Man? How could this be? I put you under lock and key. Yeah, and I sprung him. There's a guy who messed up all your theory, Charles Mother Goose. I'll make you pay for all your jokes that cause such problems for these folks. Hey, lighten up, Mother G. Everyone's having a swinging time. I'll flap my wings and tap my feet. This mama loves that boogie beat. Court's adjourned, I'll be abrupt. Boogeyman, crank that sucker up. <gasps> Don't look, Max. She's dancing without any feathers on. Give it a twirl, girl. Who says you can't teach an old bird new tricks? Oh, this is terrible, dreadful, awful. Right, Max? Max, snap out of it. We've got to do something. Oh, you snap, baby. But XS has messed up all the fairy tales, and now even Mother Goose doesn't care anymore. Think of all the disappointed children in the world. You're right, A.B. We've got to take action. Okay, XS, put all the fairy tales back the way they were. You gotta catch me first! <laughs> You wish! <laughs> See you next Halloween! Now we got this place rocking, I know a really dull spot we can liven up. Wanna check out the real world? Righty row, show off the way, Jay. We heat things up around here, men. I know. Want to see Humpty come out of his shell? I'll just whip up a dancing partner for him. Oh, get that thing away from me. Oh, come on. Be a good egg. It just wants to dance. That's it, Humpty, my man. Over easy. You got to stop that thing before I scramble. <laughs> Come on, let's check out the rest of this bed. What was that? Zoe, I thought you said no one was here. I just saw an old lady. Oh, Amanda, you're just imagining things. Next, you'll be saying you see little green men running around. This would make a lovely weekend getaway, if only it was bigger. I've got no feathers of my own, so maybe I'll take these on loan. 
Was there anything in a nice tennis shoe high top in there? Satisfied, Amanda? <laughs> I'm sure I heard something in here. Boy, this place is a wreck. And Mom and Dad see my room is messy. Now that's what I call high fashion, Mother Goose. We must go show the others. Come on, let's put on some of Mom's makeup. Zoe, you're not gonna believe this, but I think I just saw a pluck goose wearing a fur coat. Come on, quit kidding around. If we don't get out of here, we never catch excess. Wait, I have an idea. Now, Max, careful with sharp objects. Cool it, A.B. I'm gonna cut this pumpkin. Just take it from this swinging goose. Get hip, start grooving, and all hang loose. Now we're cooking. Egg says, little buddy, I sure like your style. Just stick with me. I'm a real party alien. Oh, no! Everyone's gone! I bet XS took them back to the real world. Do your thing, FX. There's no time to lose. Unless we stop the music, they'll never go back to their stories. Okay, then let's blow the sound system. FX, it's time to get rid of some bad vibes. Rock it and roll! What? Hey, oh, wow, well, oh, 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 You party poopers, you spoiled everything. No, wait a minute. It was you who spoiled our stories. And we want to go back. The party's over, Excess. You better do as they ask. All right, all right, if that's what they want. Last one home's a rotten egg. I hate that expression. Now tell me, Excess, wasn't it quite nervy to turn my whole world topsy-turvy? Yeah. Why don't you just stay up on Twinkle Twinkle where you belong? <sighs> Because no one up there likes me. I thought if I ran away to Earth, I might make some friends. If you want to make friends, you have to be one yourself. Cheer up, little hipster. I'll be your buddy. Really? Will you come back to Twinkle Twinkle with me? Sure thing. They're going to love you there. But first, don't you have a few repairs to make in Mother Goose Land? Don't worry, I'll fix everything. So hurry up, Bob. Get on with your mending so this story has a happy ending. Here, you keep the book access. Then you can look up your friends anytime. Goodbye, FX. No hard feelings, okay? Well, okay. <laughs> oh, when am I ever going to learn? See you around, cousin. Rock 'em and suck 'em. Crank it, B man. Boy, I'm glad we got that straightened out. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Amanda, we've checked the whole house. There's nobody here. And I tell you, this place gives me the creeps. I'm leaving. I think she's been eating too many sugar cookies. Huh? What's going on? Uh, excuse me, which way to Mother Goose Land? It's a pain. 
Agent Wally here, citizens. Intergalactic Vegetable and Microbe Patrol. You missed our checkpoint coming back from the planet Osiris. I had to get home for my bottle. I'm a baby, you know. A very dangerous virus is missing. A virus from Osiris. Well, I'm sure we haven't seen it. Uh-huh. This virus likes to travel on the bottoms of shoes. And if you're good citizens, you always wipe your feet. Well, some of us do. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. I have to scan the lot of you. Hmm. You're both clean. As a whistle. And you're clean, too. That's strange. No sign of the virus on any of you. Here's a picture of the virus, alias Nazal Bathrobe. I don't see anything. Look closer. Don't let his innocent face fool you. He'd just as soon wipe out an entire galaxy as wipe his nose. He's not here, so make like a rocket and lift off. Not so fast. Oh, no! Not that! I'm afraid so. There'll be no more space travel for you till we catch this virus. Until then, keep your eyes on the sky and wipe your feet! Well, guys, we better find that virus before it really starts to plague us. Hello? Uh, Steve? Zoe, I just w wanted to know if you're c coming to my birthday party today. You are? Cool! See you then! Yippee! Excited about your birthday party, Zoe? Oh, yes! Now that Steve the Dreamboat's coming. Oh, I feel so weird. Ah! I'm seeing spots! Oh, you don't look at all well. I, I'm fine, really. Goodness! I'm gonna have to call your friends and cancel your party. No! You can't, Mom! You just can't! Well, as long as you don't have a fever. Dirty diapers! Zoe's got the virus from Osiris! We gotta capture that nasal bathrobe guy! What do you suggest? We'll have to go in after him. Otherwise, we'll never be able to go into space again. That would be a drag. You're not kidding, so let's get small. Rocket and roll! Let's get a move on before anyone notices we're gone. Strange. A half hour ago, you were burning up. Now you're normal. Then can I have my party? Pretty, 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 please? <sighs> oh, I suppose. But I want you to take this cold capsule. We gotta climb up there. But that'll be like climbing Mount Everest. Why do we have to do it, Max? Because it's there. That wasn't so bad, was it, guys? <sighs> <sighs> Now to get inside Zoe. And just how do we do that? Easy! By hitching a ride in this cold capsule. Zoe, swallow your cold capsule. Hang on, everyone! Do your thing, FX! Rocket and roll! Pass the lips and over the gums. Look out! Everybody, come on in. Hi, Steve. What's happening, Zoe? Oh, here's my one chance to make him like me, and I've got the nervy lurvies. Apparently, we've landed on top of spaghetti. Shall we sing the song? On top of spaghetti. Candidate B. Look! All right, let's get that alphabet soup moving. I can't believe you guys are still on the bees. We got 24 more letters to move. Uh, excuse me, sir. I said move it. There's a shipment of ice cream and cake coming in. Boy, do I hate birthday parties. Uh, sir? I ain't got no time to gab, pal. We're looking for Nazo 
a bathrobe. That guy, he was in here trying to upset my whole operation. He wanted to mix peanut butter with hot fudge and lima beans. Yeah. Yeah. You know what kind of trouble that can cause in a stomach? So where is he now? Search me. Go to the heart. The maid of D there knows everybody. Do you like the raspberry fizzy punch, Steve? Yeah, it makes my nose tickle. Now you've done it. You guys got me all distracted and all the work got backed up. Whoa, hit the deck. It looks like a big one. Steve, I... Uh. <gasps> oh. oh, excuse me. I can't believe what I did in front of Steve. Mom, I'm so embarrassed. Let's blow this gas station. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for a way to the hut. I see some clues straight ahead. We're just a stone's throw from the kidney. We're getting close. Max, look out! Boy, look at that traffic jam. And it's not even rush hour. This is what I call major congestion in the chest. Dear me, I wonder how it's affecting Zoe. Your mom baked these cookies. I bet they're delicious. Go ahead, try one. <coughs> what? You don't like my mom's cookies? <coughs> oh, no. They're very good. <coughs> really? <coughs> I've never seen a jam up like this before. These are the red and white car puzzles going to work. Daddy diapers, look! Loops clogging everything up. Come on, guys. This is our chance. No. He's getting away, Max. First things first, A.B. Well, now we know there's no truth to the expression clean as a whistle. You okay, Zoe? Yeah, it was just a little congestion in my chest. Thanks. I thought you were really gonna toss your cookies there. Would you excuse me for a second? Mom, I've been a real geek in front of Steve. So far, I burped in his face and choked on his mother's cookie. Well, why not try giving Steve a compliment? Oh, it's awfully spooky in here. Don't sweat it, FX. Hey, dig the crazy beat. We must be near the heart. This is the place. Hmm, the Heart Club. Open 24 hours, always pumping, always jumping. Great, let's go in. Hold it, you guys. You got an ID with you? No, just an FX and AB. <laughs> Did you say AB? <gasps> Would that be AB positive or negative? Oh, I'm positive, sir. Gee, all our regular customers are type O. It's an honor to have an A-B positive. You guys get the best seats in the house. Is it a good crowd tonight? Oh, the best. See that guy over there? He just got out of the joint. Prison? No, oh, the elbow. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to shake your antibodies bodies to the jumping sound of plasma. On left ventricle, Sammy Aon. Uh oh, Nazo Battle must be up to something. Hey, relax, everybody. Just a little change in pulse rate. Looks like a schoolgirl crush. Hit it, Bobby. Sure glad you invited me to your party, Zoe. Really, Steve? Having a good time? AB positive? Oh, positively. But we need to find Nazo bathroom. Have you seen him? Yeah, that jerk was in here earlier. Which way did he go? The lungs. Through that door over there. Thanks. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got you now, you mean old 
<laughs> You're off too late. My eggs are ready to hatch. What do you do then? Make an omelette? No, you silly baby person. One sneeze from your sister and all the children on this planet will catch my virus. <laughs> we'll stop you somehow. Too late. Look up there. That's my sneeze maker, Franz von Tickler, crawling up her nose. Soon she'll be sneezing her head off. <laughs> You're the lady. Gonna make you sneeze. He's picking his way up her nose. Oh, never mind him, Avery. Let's grab the leader. We'll get a ladder later. You'll never lay a hand on me. <laughs> oh, me! Whoa! I think we need a new approach. I'm going after that yodeler. Good. FX and I will go to the brain and try to find the sneeze reflex. Yeah, pull the plug and stop her nose from running. You're the lady. Gonna make you sneeze. Ah, ah, here it is. Yeah, it's good. Coochie, coochie, coo. Okay, here goes with the compliments. You know, Steve, that's a really neat looking shirt you have on. Thanks, Zoe. And that belt is fabulous. You really like it? Are you kidding? It's the coolest. Uh, uh, uh. You're the lady, gonna make you sneeze. Not if I can help it. Yeah? Who is there? Your worst nightmare. I'm girl. Coochie, coochie, coo! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you give up? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yes. That's a beautiful fado. Yeah, it has been in the ventricular family for generations. Can I see it? Pretty please? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, this cute baby act gets him every time. You think you can tickle me? <laughs> I am not tickled. <laughs> You're the lady. You're the lady. That's the last nose he'll ever pick on. I'd better find out that's an AP. We've been here a while, AB. Shouldn't we be doing something? FX, this isn't a matter of simple trial and error. These buttons literally control every part of Zoe's body. Max, thank goodness you're here. Have you found a way to shut down a sneeze reflex? Well, yes. And no. It's one of these buttons, I'm certain of that. You better figure out which one, and quick! Is that your aftershave I'm smelling, Steve? Yeah, my dad's hefty stinkum. Like it? It's... Uh, uh, uh. Quick, guys, push anything! Uh. Wow! Zoe's bobbing for punch! Cool! <laughs> All right, we squeezed the sneeze. Now we gotta ice that wet nose slime. Did someone say slime? That's mucus to my ears. Allow me to introduce you to my hemogoblins. Oh, I think I'm gonna bang. Don't wimp out, Apex. A pack of goofy meatballs can't scare us. Get them, my pretties. You're a really terrific dancer, Steve. Ouch! Uh, sorry. You know, Zoe, I really like a girl who can burp, but you're not much of a dancer. Hey, get away from Zoe's control panel! <laughs> wow, Zoe, you've got some crazy moves. I never knew you could dance like that. Uh, neither did I. Hey, that's the 
the pole. You never seem like this much fun before, Zoe. What's gotten into you? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not through yet. Right, my little eggy wigs? We can't wait for a sneeze, so we're hiking out on foot. Yeah, come on, guys, let's infect these kids. A chip off the old block. <laughs> oh, wait, bathrobe. You post nasal drip. You sneeze your last. Effects. Here's what I need. There's nothing they can do to stop us now, my great day lovelies. Good time, Zoe. Do you mean it, Steve? You bet I do. Oh. Acting, sis. Find me a river. Zoe certainly got emotional over that young lad. Will I be? It's her party. She can cry if she wants to. Okay, Fix, blow us up. Here, Fix, hold Nazzle. Hello? Excuse me, long distance operator, please. Give me Agent Wally. I came as soon as I got your call, citizens. Here. Thanks, but I can't drink on duty. No, look inside. Oh, good work, citizens. You're welcome in space anytime. But remember, always wipe your feet. That means that we can blast off the space tonight. Max! Max, what a great party! And for once, you didn't ruin it for me. Goo goo ga ga goo goo. Fantastic news! Well, along came Max, and the fun time started. I'd laugh until I cry. He's dynamite in those four ply diapers. He's my kind of guy. Well, there goes Max on a big time mission. Will he lose or win? Yes, it all depends on the four ply diaper, and that saves a kid. He's tough. I mean, terrific. I don't know another word that says it's so specific. Tomorrow's the best vegetable contest at the county fair. I gotta make sure my carrots win. Now open up or next diaper change I'll powder you with Parmesan cheese. Okay, so the pickled carrots are pukey. Try my carrot jello. What? The jello can't be gross too. Wanna bet? Try wearing it. Max, you sit tight. I gotta go water my carrots. Ah, <sighs> thank heaven that's over. You said it, A.B. FX, can you zap up a stomach pump for me? On second thought, I better take you with me so you don't get into any trouble. Go, 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 go! Now you stay put. I'll be right back. If I can't win for the best tasting vegetable, maybe my special formula will help me win for the biggest. 
garlic juice, Limburger cheese, fish oil, raw eggs, and chocolate sprinkles. Hey, Squirt, don't get sand in your diapers. <laughs> Let's get that key, guys. Commence Operation Sand Blast. <laughs> Very funny, you little twerp. You should keep your creepy brother on a leash. Oh, knock it off, Ben. He's just a little harmless baby. Yeah, harmless as a chainsaw. So how your potatoes doing? I got one that'll take first prize at the fair. Not when they see my carrots. <laughs> That's what you think. Uh-oh, what's the creep up to this time? Okay, Bucky, start munching. There's the salad bar, go to it. This is neat. After the Kofi gets finished, I won't have to eat any more of Zoe's yucky concoctions. Maybe, but if Ben wins the vegetable contest, we'll have to listen to him brag for a year. Oh, yeah, and Ben's got a bigger mouth than Zoe. We gotta get the gopher. He's not here. Nor here. Let me try, fellas. Ow! My ah! Ah! It be? One, two, three! Hey, Max, what are you doing? Ben, watch out for my carrot. What's going on? Ben, your gopher's been eating my carrots. You dirty, rotten cheater. <laughs> Bucky, I should eat the carrots, not my potatoes. Ugh, I got the worst carrot taste in my mouth. Oh, look, Max, a falling star. Make a wish. I wish I never have to eat another carrot for the rest of my life. Oh, can't a robot get any sleep around here? Time for that later, A.B. Let's see what's happening. Six foot two. That's taller than Rambo. Go, 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 go. Go, go this, Max. I've grown the world's biggest carrot. Hmm, something awfully weird's going on around here. everything. Before I lug this overgrown root another inch, we're going to find out exactly where this contest is. Come on, Zoe. Good. No one's looking. Time for a stretch. Psst. Hey, kid. Who said that? Me, the big orange guy. <laughs> the big orange guy. Very good trick, Max. How do you do it? Was it me, A.B.? This kid talked. If you believe that, I have a yodeling cactus I'll sell you cheap. Let's go, everybody. Catch you out now, Mr. Cat. Catch you later. Come on, come on, let's hurry. I can't wait to get rid of this back-breaking monster. You're gonna win the blue ribbon, Spud. Nobody comes close to you for size and beauty. Look again, Ben. Carrot's gonna mash your potato. You didn't drill that thing, no way. Be nice, children. We'll bring you some lemonade. Looks pretty fakey if you ask me. It's not a fake, you're just jealous. Fake, fake, fake. Oh, yeah? Mr. Who are you? My card. Mr. Fatso, vegetable expert? That's Fazzo. The tea is silent. I'm Ben. Now give me back my spud. First, tell me about your little friend, the one with a giant carrot. Sure, I'll talk, but it'll cost you a nickel. Mm, spectacular spud, young man. Definitely a blue ribbon winner. Wahoo! I knew it. 
Yeah, if it wasn't for this hole. Too bad, Sonny. Hey, what a ripoff! So the winner is Zoe and her enormous carrot. Just how I'm gonna prove. Can you hear me, Mr. Carrot? Anyone in there? Blacks, look out! There it is, Rust Bucket. Dinner is served. This is a job for FX at Super Duper Pea Shooter. Is it safe to sprout now? Dirty diaper! I told you it was alive, eh, babe? Glad to meet you. The name's Rudy. You really saved my skin back there. Forget it. You can call me. Max, aren't you overlooking an obvious question? What in the name of plot twists is he doing here? Well, I'm from the planet Beta Carotene, and I'm in trouble. A big fat guy named Fazo has been chasing me all over the universe. He wants me for dinner. You mean for dinner? Yep, we're talking boiled carrot here. You the worst kind. Sorry, nothing personal. Why don't you do the smart thing, Mr. Rudy, and go underground? No, I've been there before. Believe me, it's no picnic. Well, everyone's heard of Fantastic Max, and I heard you wish on a star that you'd never have to eat another carrot. You're my kind of hero. Don't worry, Rudy. We'll help you. Oh, I know Faso's around here somewhere. He'll try to buy me when they auction off the Blue Ribbon Prize winner. Not if I have anything to do about it. Oh. <laughs> what am I bid on this delicious-looking carrot? Ten greenbacks, Buster. Twenty smackers. Fifty clams. That must be facts are right over there. Uh, need another diaper change, Max? No, this is all part of my plan. I'm bid 50 mollusks. Do I hear 60? 50 going once. Mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> going twice. Yow! Sold to the man with the big mouth for 60. Excellent ploy, Max. Thanks, Daddy. Now we can keep my carrot. Oh, my aching back. Garbanzos, patience, my hungry little tummy. You and Rudy will meet very soon. <laughs> Rudy should be all right in the garage till morning. And tomorrow we'll figure out how to keep him away from Fatso. That's Fazo, the tea is silent. Help me! That's Rudy, he's in trouble. <laughs> Back! Back, you vicious beast! <laughs> hey, cut it out! That tickles! No, Hutch! Bad, bad bunny! Get that lop your cannibal away from me! You mustn't nibble on house guests, Hutch. Could you please untie me? I'm wilting from hunger. Help yourself! Yuck! There's nothing edible in there at all. But that looks delicious. Eating soil? That's disgusting. Don't knock it, A.B. I eat it all the time when Mom's not looking. Uh, I dug that dirt. Whoa, Max, here comes your dad. Whoa! Max, you little devil. Midnight snacking, huh? Goo goo gaga! <laughs> Chip off the old block. Here, Zoe's carrot forest will fill up your tummy. <gasps> Open wide like a good boy. <laughs> what the heck? Uh oh. God damn! Oh, Max! <sighs> the safest place for you is in bed. Goo goo ga ga goo goo. What do you want? You 
should have won that vegetable contest. Your potato was far superior to that silly carrot. Yeah, but so what? It's too late now. But it's not too late for revenge. I like that expression. What do you have in mind, Fatso? It's Fazzo. The tea is silent. Now you distract Zoe, and I'll swipe the carrot. King, Zoe will really be mad and everything. But it'll cost you a nickel. This is business, kid. I pay you after you do the job. Wake up! <sighs> what is it now, Max? After Dad caught us, we forgot to get Rudy. Carrots are supposed to be healthy, but this Rudy is giving me ulcers. Hey, somebody cut my carrot, and it had to be Ben. <laughs> Rudy, wake up! Huh? Oh, let me sleep, Mom. I'm not ripe yet. Huh? What? Who could that be at this early hour? We gotta hide Rudy fast. Hey, ring it again and I'll ring your nose. Ben, you're a dirty, rotten carrot snitcher. I haven't even touched that lousy sprout. Did too, did not, did too. Ha ha, there's my gallivanting garnish. Give it back, or I'll twist your ears off. Yeah, you and whose army? Um, yeah, um, yeah. Hello, Rudy. You're looking especially fresh today. Oh, no! Leave him alone, fat so. It's Fazo, the tea is silent. All righty, Rudy. Ask not for whom the carrot peels, it peels for me. <laughs> Help! So, my elusive legume, I'm glad you finally decided to come to dinner. We're locked out, but there must be a way in. Let me think. Stop thinking, stay fashion. Come on, Rudy. We gotta get out of here. Chop, chop. Did you have to use that expression? Ha <laughs> ha, the carrot's mine. Root, root, root for Fazo. <laughs> then, for the last time, give me my carrot. I don't have it. He does. Help, police. <laughs> Come back here, you carrot crook. I'm going with you. He still owes me a nickel. We'll never catch Fatso and Rudy now. Sure we will, A.B. Zap it, FX. Rock it and roll! Max, this is ridiculous. Get in This is a cartoon. It's Fazzo! The tea is silent! We're almost there, my beautiful salad sprout. Raz, now which way? Right! Turn right! Effect up slipper! Hey, we're that away! <sighs> I'm home free. Look! No overgrown duck's gonna follow me up. Voila! 
Come along, my succulent entree. We're coming, Rudy. The meal is over, big man. To the contrary, my diapered pest. This is just the appetizer. On guard! On garden! No lying down on the duel! You little weanling! Oh, no, no, please don't! Don't whisk me! Good show, Max. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's a flying shopping cart! Thank goodness, the intergalactic vegetable squad! Nice work! We've been trying to catch this gruesome gourmand for years. You're safe now, Rudy. Time to go home. Can we visit you someday, Rudy? Sure, we'll do lunch. The dirt will be on me. I can hardly wait. Come on, guys. Let's waddle into the sunset. And I'd have caught him if you didn't get your stupid old head stuck in the spokes. Shut up and help me. You better sneak in the back way, fellas. Dirty diapers! An Italian squash from outer space! Don't touch, Max. It hasn't been properly washed. Ugh. Hey, you fantastic Max! I'm in a bigger trouble and I'm gonna need your help a bad. <sighs> Here we go again. Mm, no wonder I don't like vegetables. Fantastic Max!